WWE Fastlane kicked off with Cody Rhodes and Jey Uso's The Judgment Day. Damian Priest and Jey Uso kicked off the match at Fastlane, and the champ was in control early on before Cody Rhodes was tagged in and hit a big slam, followed by a stalling vertical suplex on Finn Balor. In the middle of the match, we saw Jey Uso and Rhea Ripley. Priest hurt his knee off a Hurricane Rana before all four men started a brawl in the ring. GD McDonough got a cheek shot from the apron, and the Eradicator hit G with a Money in the Bank briefcase, but Uso kicked out both times. Priest took an accidental briefcase to the knee before Cody hit him with a crossroads on the announce desk. Back in the ring, Cody and Jay got the modified 1D before picking up the win. In the second match of the night, Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar showed up without a third tag partner at fast lane, and the Street Profits were in control early on. Ray was isolated and taking a beating when Montez Ford took Escobar down by sending him into the barricades. Selena Vega took out Ford with a Meteora before Carlito showed up and joined the match. Carlito cleared the ring before Ray and Escobar hit dives to the outside on Angelo Dawkins and Bobby Lashley. Ford tried to roll up Carlito in the ring, but the returning superstar took him out with a backstabber and got the pin, securing the win for the LWO. In the Triple Threat WWE Women's Championship, Asuka got the mist in Charlotte Flair's face right off the bat and tried for a near fall, but EO Sky broke it up. The Queen headed outside to recover while Asuka and Sky traded holds in the ring. They traded pin attempts before IO got a meta row, and Charlotte got a spear. Flair was caught in a double submission hold but managed to break out of it and sent Sky off the top rope. Bailey showed up and helped IO up, but the champ was kicked off the apron. Asuka was caught in figure four, but the role model ran distraction letting Io come back in with the moonsault and get the win. John Cena and LA Knight vs. The Bloodline John Cena and Jimmy Uso kicked off the match and Uso was in control early on. Cena was isolated in the ring and Solo Sicko came in with a hip attack in the corner, but John came back with a sudden AA but failed to make the tag to LA Knight. The Wiseman yelled authorized for every move that Solo and Jimmy made as the two-on-one brawl continued in the ring. Knight finally tagged in and hit some big moves on Jimmy after knocking Solo off the apron. Jimmy Uso came back with a super kick before Knight returned the favor with a superplex. Cena came in and hit the five-knuckle shuffle on Jimmy before taking Solo Sicko out as well. Knight got the BFT and picked up the win. Before the main event we got a backstage segment where Damian Priest wanted to cash in his money in the bank contract, but the rest of the Judgment Day convinced him not to since he was not in the best shape after the match. Seth Rollins vs Shinsuke Nakamura in a last man standing match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. The match started outside, and Seth Rollins was driven into the ring apron early on before the champ got a counter and sent Shinsuke Nakamura into the steel steps. Rollins lifted the top half of the steps before hitting Shinsuke with it. The match was brutal every object has been used in this match tables, ladders, chairs, nunchucks, kendo stick. Rollins set Nakamura on the announce desk and went up the ladder again, but the ladder followed him up and hit the mist before pushing him off and sending him through the table. Rollins took a Kinshasa through a table in the corner before they went back into the crowd and onto a balcony. Rollins got a pedigree and a stomp near the crowd before hitting a falcon arrow through some tables below. Both men were down, but Rollins barely managed to beat the count, picking up the win. The show ended with Seth Rollins on top. This was a solid show overall, although I wouldn't say it was as good as the better WWE PLE slash PPV shows this year. I think the Rollins slash Nakamura match was the best of the night. They got the most time and made the most of it. Some of the other matches were very good as well. John Cena was worked on for most of the tag team match, LA Knight got the hot tag and they got the obvious win. I like the AL Sky Charlotte Flair Asuka match as well with Bailey helping Sky get the win. It was cool to see Carlito back in a WWE ring. We knew it was coming, but it was still nice to see it. I'm a bit surprised that Bobby Lashley and Street Profits were lose their first six-man tag team match together. I guess it was a case of wanting to put over the LWO with Carlito. I didn't expect Cody Rhodes and Jey Uso to win the WWE Tag Team titles over the Judgment Day, but I thought it was booked very well. They had an entertaining match that was a smart choice for an opening match. So what are your thoughts on WWE Fastlane 2023? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you in the next one.